This is Jeff Ryland from Abundant Design. Today we're going to talk about underappreciated plants. Plants you may even have in your backyard. Plants you might call weeds. Today we're going to talk about plantain. Not the uh, starchy banana, but actually Plantago major. Um, the common name is uh, broadleaf plantain or um, just plain old plantain. It's been called white man's footprints by Native Americans. The plantago plant, or plantain, um, originated in Europe and parts of Central Asia. Um, but now it is the most uh, abundant and widely distributed medicinal plant in the world. Um, probably almost everybody has seen it, um, whether you've noticed it or not. It will grow in the cracks of the sidewalks and driveways and anywhere that uh, there's maybe some packed ground or disturbed ground. Broadleaf plantain can be identified with, by its broad oval leaves. Um, generally they're shiny and waxy. Um, these are a little dull, but uh, generally they have more of a shiny, the deeper green. It could be because we're in part shade here. Um, they'll also have a spiky um, flower coming out the top and it generally grows really low. It's an opportunistic plant and it will grow well where you have disturbed soil like in your garden um, and also it grows low to the ground, so when you mow, you won't necessarily be mowing it off. And it can be a problem uh, in a yard if it starts to go to all plantain. Sadly, I've done a very good job of eradicating it from our yard um, in years past, um, but I've salvaged um, one plant and I've put that in my uh, forest garden. Um, I can understand um, people's desire to get rid of it from their yard if you want to have nice um, grass without, without a lot of weeds, but if you have a spot where you can um, save a plant or two, I strongly encourage you to do that um, because those will learn soon. Um, there are tons of benefits to this little plant. The, uh, the leaves, when they're young and small, Just go ahead and eat these in a salad. As they get older, they get a lot more stringy. Um, if they're, once they get older, you'll want to boil them because of the stringiness. Um, you can go ahead and just eat these raw. And they're very nutritious. Um, kind of almost tastes like uh, spinach, I guess. <laughs> About like every other uh, young green leaf. It's uh, got a hint of almost apple, actually, um, or an apple, apple peel. Um, they're very, very nutritious. They're high in vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin K, and also calcium. Actually, in these uh, florets here, the seeds, when they're ripe, you can actually make, uh, use them as a grain or to make flour go farther. Um, I don't recommend it because they're so few and they're so tiny. But uh, if, if you had to, or if you wanted to, you can try them out. The uh, leaves you can, like I said, eat in a salad. You can um, boil them in a stew once they're older. And you can also make a tea from the leaves. And that tea has been used in the past um, for diarrhea, indigestion, and heartburn, and that kind of leads us into some of the uses beyond just food. Um, it's been used for thousands of years. Um, there was an article in the um, July 2000 issue of Ethnopharmacology, and <clears throat> it's got chemicals that aid in wound healing, um, it's an anti-inflammatory, analgesic, antioxidant. Um, it's got weak antibiotic properties. Um, I use it um, in the garden or out in the yard or um, even out for walks. It's stung by a bee or a wasp. Um, you can take one of these leaves and uh, you can 
mash it up, sometimes if they're a little dry. Kind of make a little poultice out of it, out of it. And where you get a stunt sting, you just rub that on and uh, it will uh, pull the sting right out of it. I've used it uh, on my legs when I walk through nettles. Um, you can see I wear shorts quite a bit. Um, um, also mosquito bites, same thing. Um, it just kind of um, takes the sting right out of it. Search for more uses for Plantago Major or Plantain um, on the internet and you will be amazed at the uses um, for this uh, wonderful weed. So thanks for stopping by. Again, this is Jeff Ryland from Abundant Design. And let us know if, uh, if you would like some help establishing a forest garden in your yard, or raised beds, rain harvesting systems, or composting systems.